In today's lesson, we're going to be reviewing factoring polynomials, and we're going to factor a quadratic trinomial. And we're going to be factoring these trinomials when a is 1 and when a is not 1. So remember that a quadratic trinomial is writ written in standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c. When we factor these quadratic trinomials when a is 1, we're looking for the binomials that when multiplied together, give me a product of this quadratic trinomial. So how do we do this? We're gonna find factors of a times c that have a sum of b. So when I factor a quadratic trinomial when a is one, my product, okay, um, my product is one times six. So it's really easy, like I can do this, you know, I'm gonna show you how to do this um, kind of slowly, and then we're gonna go fairly quickly through the problems. So when I'm factoring a quadratic trinomial, x squared plus 5x plus 6, I want to find two numbers that multiply to 6 and also add to 5. If you struggle with this concept, one of the things that you can do is write all your factors of 6. 1 times 6, 2 times 3. Which of these factors also has a product, I mean has a sum of positive 5? 2 and 3. So my numbers are 2 and 3 which mean my factors are x plus 2 times x plus 3. Let's move on. So we did this first one together. Okay, x plus 2 times x plus 3. Let's move on to example number 2. I'm looking for, in example number 2, I have this quadratic trinomial, and again, it's like factors of a times c. Well, that's just 1 times 35. So I need two numbers that multiply to 35 and add to negative 12. You can list out your factors of 35 if you want to pause the video and do that now. So what are those numbers? 5 and 7 are what multiply to 35 and add to positive 12, but negative 5 and negative 7 are the numbers the integers that multiply to positive 35 and add to negative 12. So my binomial factors here are x minus 5 times x minus 7. Let's move on to example number 3. In example number 3, I'm looking for two numbers that have a product of negative 8 and a sum of 2. Now this is really different, okay? Or not really different. Product of 8, 1 times 8, 2 times 4. But if I have a product of negative 8, that means one of these factors is positive and one is negative. That's how I get a product that's negative. But when I talk about a sum of two integers with different signs, I'm really subtracting to get to this number, right? So which of these multiplies to 8 and subtracts to 2? 2 and 4. So now we have to figure out which one's positive and which one's negative. If this sum down here is positive, then the biggest factor is also positive. So 4 and negative 2. And you can always check your work. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 plus negative 2 is positive 2. So my factors are x plus 4 times x minus 2. Let's use that same line of thinking with problem number four. I need two numbers that multiply to negative 16 and add to negative six. Negative 16, I know one's positive and one's negative, which means we're subtracting to negative six. And if you want, I'll go ahead and list the factors of 16 here. One times 16, two times eight, and four times four. Which of these factors also subtracts to six? 2 and 8. So which one's positive and which one's negative? Well, in this case, I'm adding these two together and my sum is negative right here, which means the larger of these two numbers is going to be negative. So I know it's going to be negative 8 and positive 2. And then you can check your work. 2 times negative 8 is 16. 2 plus negative 8 is negative 6. So my factors are x plus 2 times x minus 8. Let's move on to example number five. In example number five, I've got two numbers that multiply to 36 and add to 12. 
we're multiplying and you don't have to do this little graphic organizer but I use it in algebra one I, I don't really do it in algebra two but if I have students that struggle with this in algebra two this tends to really help them so multiply to 36 and add to 12 what are those numbers six and six so x plus six times x plus six and how else can we write that x plus six times x plus six is x plus six squared let's move on to example number six okay in example number six wait a second this is the first example where i don't have an a value that's one what you always want to do is factor out a gcf first if you can okay that's what you're always going to look for can i factor out a gcf sometimes you can and sometimes you can't in this case i do have a numeric gcf i look at three negative three negative 18 i can factor out a three out of each term when i factor out a three three x squared divided by three is x squared negative three x divided by three is negative x negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. so now let's factor out this trinomial that we're left with we're looking for two numbers that have a product of negative 6 and a sum of negative 1. what are those two numbers if my product is negative i know one's positive and one's negative if one's positive and one's negative i know i'm subtracting to this negative 1. so my numbers are 2 and 3 which one's positive and which one's negative since my sum is negative i know the larger number is going to be negative so negative three and positive two so my factors are x plus two times x minus three don't forget to write your gcf out there whenever you're showing this polynomial factored completely okay so this would be your answer so let's move on to how to factor a quadratic trinomial when a is not one and i have an option to use um, one of three different methods and the next videos are going to show you the second half of this lesson